Hello there, it's Andrew Mount for GG ahead of Kempton's meeting on Sunday the 20th of October. We've got some excellent jumps action today with two listed races, some good handicaps and an interesting juvenile hurdle to kick off with. Now I'm going to start us off with a few stats. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea. One or two of you find them quite boring, having that sort of reaction to them. But listen up, you might learn something. Now Kempton's jumps course favours those who race up with the pace. Over hurdles since 2012, if you'd bet every horse who was described as held up on its latest start, you'd have lost £723 to a £1 level stake. That's almost 50% on turnover. So look for those horses who have ridden prominently on their latest start. Now, um, over fences as well, it's a similar story. And frontrunners win 32% of the chases at uh, Kempton in recent years. Now, we're starting with the juvenile hurdle, and uh, the angle I like here is with Alan King. He's had five runners in this race in the past ten years, four of them won, and the other one unseated when odds on. Now, production was only fourth on his jumps debut at Market Raisin last time, not jumping particularly well, but that run, his first since leaving Richard Hannon's care, would have been needed, and he'll improve for the experience. Now, that race is already starting to work out well, uh, the runner-up would have won at Weatherby next time, but for falling. And the third um, ran in a decent handicap hurdle at Chepstow next time and uh, filled the same position again, acquitting himself well. So production for me in the opener. Uh, the third race, the 320. This is a, uh, an interesting handicap chase here, and one I'm very keen on is Gary Moore's Darabin. Now, he reappeared at Faultmore recently and was beaten out of sight into fifth place, going down by about 52 lengths. However, in 2015, he was beaten on his hurdles debut and then came out to win next time at 14 to 1. In 2016, he was beaten by 36, uh, 38 lengths on his reappearance, but won second time out at 12 to 1. In 2017, he also won second time out, as he did last year. So he's bidding to make it five second time out wins from five seasons over jumps. And I think he can do it here. And the fact that he was beaten so far last time out suggests he'll be a good price. So that's Darabin in the 320. Uh, moving on to the second of the two listed races, the 425. And we've got our old friend Silver Streak here. Now he's going to be a short price for this, uh, currently around about 8 to 11. But he's got such a good record when fresh that I think he can make a winning reappearance. Now uh, those of you who um, watched my the Cheltenham Festival preview video for GG back in the spring, and remember that I napped him for the champion hurdle. And he was uh, an 80 to 1 third that day, giving us a good each way return for our money. Now, since joining Evan Williams, he's had eight runs when he's had six weeks or longer off the track. He won five of those. He was second in a field of 17 at Ascot in one of the others. So third at 80 to 1 in the champion hurdle and unseated in the other. Now, after Cheltenham, he went to entry over two and a half miles. Uh, the recent run was no help to him, nor was the step up to two and a half miles. And he was beaten out of sight. So forget that run, he can bounce back here. Finally, in the five o'clock, uh, another handicap chase. I like the claims of top weight Leith Hill Lad for Charles Longston. This is a horse who needs a small field in order to dominate. All of his career wins have come in fields of seven or fewer runners, and he faces just six rivals today. He also goes well at Kempton. He's had two runs here over obstacles, and he's won them both. So that's Leith Hill Lad to make all. Just in summary then, four bets at Kempton on a very interesting Sunday card. We've got production in the juvenile hurdle for Alan King, the 215. Uh, Darabin, the uh, most interesting bet on the day in the 2 mile 2 handicap chase, the 320 race. Silver Streak will probably justify odds on favouritism, now he's fresh in the 425. And finally, Leith Hill Lad in the 5 o'clock. That's it from me until next week. Until then, best of luck and enjoy what's left of the weekend.